All right, so let's go ahead and find ourselves in our simple cross leg pose. And beginning to ground, beginning to root. Maybe rock it a little bit side to side or front to back. Just allowing that rocking, that movement to begin to quiet everything, to begin to find a rhythm. Getting ready for the practice today. As you've got that movement going, let's change that movement into a little bit of a torso circle. And we're just making this small, just starting off small, taking that front and back. And I'm sitting on a um, pillow. You can use a rolled up mat too, especially if your hip flexors are tight. But I like sitting on the pillow and doing the torso, tor the torso circles because there's a, just a tiny bit right there when I go forward, just of a release for the hip flexors and for the glutes. Tiny bit of tilt. Good, let's circle it the other way. And you can begin to make those circles bigger and possibly a little slower. So making those torso circles bigger. Good, and let's take it the other way again and make circles bigger on this side. And then other way, bigger again. Good, and good, bring this back to center. Begin to roll our shoulders back. And roll those shoulders forward. And let's go ahead and crunch our shoulders up to our ears. Go ahead and release the right shoulder, release the left shoulder. Let's do that again. Crunch that up. Release the right shoulder, release the left shoulder. Roll those shoulders down and back. Sit it up tall. Begin to drop your chin towards your chest. And then lift that head to center, eyes to sky. And then drop the chin to chest and eyes to sky. Head back to neutral, look to the right and look to the left. And again, to the right and to the left. Head back to neutral, drop right ear towards right shoulder. Release that left arm to your side. If you had that left hand resting on your left leg, release that left arm to your side. You can tent the fingers on the floor or if your hands go all the way down to the floor, you can. But just getting good, good release on the left side of the neck. Bring that head back to neutral. You can bring that arm back up. Let's drop right left ear to left shoulder and then release that right hand arm, hand to the side. You can tilt those fingers or release that hand, whatever is working for you. I've got a little height here because I'm sitting on that pillow, so I have to tint my fingers. And then bring this back to center, hand back to thigh. Look over again to the right and look to the left. Back to center, drop right ear towards right shoulder. This time, let's take our right hand just above that left ear, gentle pressure. Release that right arm, lift that head back to center, take it to the other side, drop left ear to left shoulder. And left hand goes right above that right ear, gentle pressure. And then release that arm, bring that head back to center. Drop our chin to chest and we'll do some neck circles. So let's take right ear to right shoulder, then chin back to chest and left ear to left shoulder. And let's do a few of these circles. As you are circling, think about those shoulders moving down and away from those ears. So make space. 
for your neck, between your shoulders and your ears, especially when that chin is going to the chest. And you might feel a little release all the way down to maybe your mid back. It just depends on how much tension you've got in your shoulders or in your neck or in the base of the skull. Drop that chin back to chest. Lift that head up to center. Roll those shoulders back and let's add in our arms. So let's go ahead, inhale, sweep our arms up. And exhale, press this down and away. And inhale, lift this up. And exhale, press down and away. And inhale, lift up. And exhale, press down and away. And inhale, lift up. Let's drop our right hand, reach over, and you can exhale as you reach. Let's keep that left glute to the floor. And get a good stretch of the left side of the body. Continuing to breathe here in this side stretch. Inhale and lift this up. Drop that left hand, exhale, reach. Reaching over with the right. Keeping our right glute, right hip to the floor. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach left. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach with that right arm. Inhale, reach up. This time, take our right hand or left hand to the front of our body, right hand behind, and you can exhale there. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Inhale, lift, and exhale, other side. And again, inhale, lift. And exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. And exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Let's clasp our hands at the top. Exhale, press palms up. Lengthen through the torso. Make some space here. Reach up through those arms. Inhale deeply. And exhale, sigh it out. And again, inhale deeply. And exhale, sigh it out. We bring our arms out in front of us. And let's go ahead and take those fingers and we're gonna take them to the forehead. We're gonna take them under the eyes, follow the face, sh shoulders to elbows, and then wipe and wipe. We'll do that a couple more times. So taking forehead, under the eyes, follow the face, shoulders to elbows, and wipe and wipe, and again, forehead, under the eyes, follow the face, shoulders to elbows, wipe and wipe. Let's keep the wipe going on here. So take this from side to side, sitting up tall, inhaling and exhaling. And just doing this, and you can even do this with the arms down. I'm just having us do it up for a little bit of strengthening. But if you're ever stressed or anxious, you can do this adding in that breath. You can find a rhythm of the noise of those palms going back and forth. That might quiet the brain a little bit too, but also just that, that touch right there of the palms and the palms. Good, and then go ahead, release that down, roll those shoulders and roll that forward. Inhale, sweep our arms up again, clasp our hands, press our palms, but this time let's bring it forward and twist to the right. Keep our left glute down. This one's really easy for that body to reach over. Try and keep everything down, keep that torso centered. So that may mean your arms go to here and not over. So wherever they go before the body starts to tilt. So taking that right there, inhale deep and exhale it out. Bring this back to center. Let's take it to the other side. Same thing on this side. Going just as far as you can go before you start to tilt. So trying not to take your body with you. Holding this right here and breathing. Bring this back to center. 
release our arms down, roll the shoulders, sweep our arms up. Let's go ahead and drop that down, reach it over again, taking our left hand to that right thigh, right hand behind us. And now let's get a bigger twist here. Oh, that feels good. Looking back and maybe taking those eyes to look back even further, breathing in this twist here. Bringing this back to center, sweep our arms up. Let's drop the left hand, reach this over. Good, take our right hand to the left thigh, left hand behind us, twist it here. Oh, breathing this here, inhaling and exhaling. Maybe taking those eyes to look back a little further. Since my other Christmas cactuses were so sad, I went and got some newer ones. I'm letting the older ones take a rest. They're in the backyard. I put I put newer ones up in the front. <laughs> Good, bring this back to center. Inhale and sweep our arms up. And exhale and press this out. And inhale and sweep this up. And exhale and press this out. If you're sitting on something, go ahead and move that out of the way. And we're going to lean ourselves back and do some windshield wipers with our legs. So let's take our legs, just hip width apart or a little further, depending on what feels most comfortable for you. And let's take those legs side to side. So windshield wiper here, just taking that side, to side, to side, and side. Beginning to wake lower body up, hips up, glutes up. Very nice. Let's keep that right foot forward. Got that zigzag in the legs. Lift ourselves up tall. So lift that torso up tall and let's go ahead and twist it to the right. That inner thigh and glute on the left side. Ah, lifted. Unless you have extremely like loose hip flexors and you can have yourself down into this, go for it. Twisting right here. Oh, and again, same thing with that other twist. Take your eyes and look back a little further. Breathing deeply here. Bring this back to center. Let's go quick for four. So let's take it for four and three. Three, there you go, back to center. It's two, back to center, and one, back to center. We'll do a little bit of a modified pigeon. So that means we've got ourselves here, but we're going to square our hips over in front of our knees. So instead of that twist, we're going to square here and you can walk yourself forward. So you can walk those hands forward. We're still keeping that back leg bent. If it's available to you, if your hip is already warm enough, you can take yourself down onto your elbows. Or if you're super warm already, you can take your forehead down. But just into this warm up modified pigeon where that belly chest is resting right on the thigh or above the thigh. Really, really good stretch for the glute. Let's press ourselves up, press ourselves all the way up, lean it back, and let's windshield wiper those legs again. So let's take this from side to side. Good. Let's go ahead and keep our left leg forward this time and sit it up tall, twist it to the left. Oh, yeah. Right glute, right hip, inner thigh, lifted, looking, maybe taking your eyes a little further, breathing this here. Bring this back to center and let's go quick for four. So let's take it for four and center, three and center, it's two and center, and last one. Good, and back to center. Let's do that modified pigeon on this side. So just squaring our hips right over our thigh, doing that full twist. You can go on your hands, on your elbows, or all the way down. So wherever your hip is allowing you to go on this side. And again, feel that wonderful stretch beginning to happen in 
the glute on that left side, left leg, left hamstring. Breathing this here. Good, let's go ahead and press ourselves up. Let's bring both of our heels together and you can have your hands on your ankles or you can reach those hands underneath your um, heels. <laughs> Just opening up shoulders down and back, getting that nice inner thigh opening right here. Maybe drop that chin to chest with that head to center. Look to right, look to left. Do that again, drop chin to chest, head to center, look right and look left. Good, back to neutral. Let's take our legs out in front of us. Legs nice and straight, feet are flexed. Let's bring our right leg in, give that a big hug, hug that out, take our right leg over, wrap our left arm around, right hand down and twist here, breathe. Let's twist it towards the other side. Go ahead and take that elbow, hand flat and twist. If you want, if you want a little bit more of a hip stretch, you can use that elbow to press the inner knee away. But don't get that joint, just like the, the little inner thigh right here, pressing that away. Breathe this here. And let's bring this back to center. Release that leg, take that straight out in front of you. Sit this up tall. Let's bring that other leg in. So go ahead and bring that in, give that a big hug. Take it over. Let's wrap our right arm around, left hand behind, and twist this here. Breathe. And then bring this to center. You can take that elbow to the inside, flat palm, and twist. And again, if you want to push, away a little bit, oh, get an even deeper stretch in that low back too. Breathing this here. Bring this back to center. Let's go back to that butterfly one more time. So bring those heels together, grab those ankles, shoulders down and back, sit that up tall. Yes, drop that chin to chest. Lift that head center, look to the right and look to the left. Again, drop the chin. Yay, I love it. The hummingbirds are back because they're flowering. So yay. Okay, drop that chin to chest. <laughs> Lift that head to center. Look to the right and look to the left. Bring this back to neutral. Good. Let's go ahead and take our legs underneath us onto all fours. Shoulders over wrists and hips over knees, cat and cow here. So let's drop our belly, eyes to sky, inhale. Round our spine, chin to chest, exhale. Drop that belly, inhale. Round that spine, exhale. Drop that belly, inhale. Round that spine, exhale. Drop that belly, inhale. And round that spine, exhale. Good. Keep our spine rounded here and kind of rock this front to back. So our chin is to the chest. The more you go front, the more you're gonna feel that in your wrists and in your upper shoulders. The more you go back, the more we're gonna slowly go back towards a child's pose. So let's go ahead and rock this front and rock this back, not all the way in a child's pose yet, rock this front. And now let's go full child's pose, back, glutes go to heels, lengthen through arms, reach through that. This is one of the best stretches for the fronts of those ankles. Wherever tight. Good, bring ourselves back up onto all fours. Go ahead and rock that forward a little bit, hold this forward, and let's just get a good stretch. You can go a little side to side, front to back, a tiny front to back right here for those wrists. And then bring this back to center. Good, let's go ahead, sit back on our heels, take our arms out, rotate the wrists, rotate the other way, good. Back onto all fours, let's lift our 
Right leg up, flex your foot, lengthen through left arm. Hold this bird dog here. Elbows to knees six times. Let's bring this in for six. Let's reach and five. Reach, four, reach, three, reach. It's two and reach. And last one, reach and hold. Let's bend at that knee, flex that foot, reach that left arm back by your side or begin to reach back for that foot. Try not to like sink into this, but trying to lift up out of it and lengthen back, hold this. Release the arm, release the leg. Child pose, I love it. He's right there. Oh, sorry. Get this down. And then bring this back up. Let's take it to the other side. Go ahead and lift left leg, lengthen through right. Good. Let's take elbow to knee six times. So bring this in for six. And reach five and reach four and reach three. Reach is two and reach. And last one, reach and hold. Bend at that knee. Shoot that right arm by your side, and you can begin to work back, or you can keep that arm by your side. So, again, it's whatever is working for you today, and lifting up out of this, not sinking into this. Go ahead and lengthen back through this. Release the arm, release the leg, child's pose. Take this back. Good. Let's walk our hands over to the right. Take that left hand right on top of that right hand. Left glute goes to left heel stretch. And take this back. Walking it over to the other side, walking to the left, right hand goes on top of that left hand, right glute to right heel, breathe. And then bring this back to center. Good. Bring yourself up on all fours. Let's take our legs underneath us, grab your block, and let's go ahead and go down on the back. Do a little final warm up for our backs and go into some strengthening. So that block's gonna be squeezing between those knees. Feet are pretty close to those glutes. Hands, elbows, triceps pressed into the floor. Let's go ahead and lift our pelvis up off of the floor. Take those shoulders underneath you a little bit. Let's hold this bridge here. Breathe. And breathe. Good spine strength here, good core strength, good leg strength. You can walk those feet a little bit closer to your glutes if that's available to you. Continue to lift that pelvis, continue to squeeze those glutes. Very nice. Slowly one vertebrae at a time. Begin to roll that spine down. Hold this here for just a moment. And then let's go ahead and lift this pelvis back up and hold. We'll hold here for about four deep breaths. And slowly lower this down one vertebrae at a time and then release that pelvis you can release that block let's take our feet a little bit wider and let's go ahead windshield wiper right here so take it from side to side very good good let's drop both our knees over to the right relax that there Bring this back to center, drop both of those knees over to the left. And back to center. 
Good, let's go ahead and press through our hands, lift ourselves up. Let's do a little bit of boat, boat pose. Sitting up tall, reach through our arms, sitting this back. Let's go ahead and do right leg. So let's lift our right leg, we'll do one leg and breathe. Really set down, let's lift left leg and breathe. Really set down, lift right, breathe it here. Really set down with the other leg, lift and breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Really set down. Sit this up, simple cross leg up tall, hinge it forward. Hold it up. Good. And let's really set. Let's do it one more time. It's always good to do lots of boat pose, lots of good stuff for the core. Let's lengthen through this. Lift right. And if you want to practice, go ahead and lift left. If you've got that right leg up, you can go ahead and switch it to the left. If you've got both legs up, then keep holding it. Just two more breaths. Good, go ahead and release that. Simple cross legs, sit this up, hinge this forward. Very good. Very nice, let's bring ourselves forward and we'll move into a half moon, modified half moon, half moon on the ground. Let's start off with gate pose first. So we're on our knees. As always, if you ever need anything to cushion those knees, feel free to put a, a pillow or a blanket, a little bit blanket underneath your knees. Let's take our right leg out to the side and neutral foot. So toe to the front or to the side, whatever feels best for you. Lengthen up through this, the arms, stand this up tall or torso is up tall. Let's go ahead and drop our left hand down to the floor and lengthen up through the right. You can keep this here if you're not ready to go into modified half moon or begin and bring this leg up. Flex through the foot, hold this here, breathe. Good, let's release that leg down, reach over. And release that. Good, let's take it to the other side. So take our left leg over, but is neutral to the side or to the front. Reach up through those arms. Let's lengthen up through this, up nice and tall. And then let's go ahead and drop that right hand down to the floor. Lengthen up through left arm, either keeping this here or bringing that leg up, flexing through that foot. Go ahead and drop that leg and reaching over. Very nice. Now that <clears throat> we're all warmed up with our forward, go ahead and take your blocks and place them where you want them for our sun salutations. If you're going to use blocks. And then we're going to go into our first downward facing dog. So to get ourselves onto all fours, let's curl our toes under and then lift our tails to the sky. So keep our knees bent as we lift the tail. Relax that head and neck in between those shoulders, maybe nodding the head, yes, or shaking that head, no. Good, keeping those knees bent and really with that tail high as that chest is kind of trying to get towards those thighs, the tops of the thighs. And then let's begin to pedal as we begin to go into that full downward facing dog. First inversion with the head being lower than the heart here. 
head if you've got any sort of upper respiratory or you've got like a head cold, you will feel this in your cheeks, in your jaw, forehead. And let's go ahead and find ourselves in our down dog, heels towards the floor, centering that, lengthening up through the torso and finding some silence here. Well, not silence, just stillness, finding some stillness here. Good, let's lift up on those toes, heels high, and let's drop both of our heels over to one side. Hmm. Lift this up and drop those heels over to the other side. Lift those heels up, let's walk both of our feet to meet our hands at the front edge of the mat in a standing forward fold ragdoll. So let those arms dangle, let that head dangle. And you can rock that from side to side or sway from side to side. That might feel good. Bring it back to center, back to neutral. Let's take opposite elbow with the opposite hand, frame that head. Breathe. Back rib cage expands and contracts with that breath. Maybe you're folding in half even deeper every time you exhale. Good, release those arms. Got those blocks, go ahead and grab them, place them right in front of you. Feet are pretty close together. You can even have them touching if you want. Let's inhale, flatten our backs, look forward into a nice table. So taking this flat back, looking forward, exhale, release, forward, fold. Inhale, flatten that back, look forward. Exhale. Inhale, flatten that back, look forward. Exhale. Let's inhale, sweep our arms up, but take this slow because our head's been low. Inhale and sweep this up. Exhale it around into a chair. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, dive down and over. Inhale into flat back, look forward. Exhale, release. Right foot's going to stay forward. Left foot's going to go back into a lunge. Left hand is going to stay on your block or on the floor. And let's twist over to the right. We've got our right spinal twist here. Good, let's take our right arm to the inside of that right leg, release that block, and then let's take our right foot back here, left foot into top of the plank. Hold this top of the plank here, and go ahead and shift that weight front and back, and stretch for those toes. Shift the weight forward, drop to the fronts of the knees, uncurl our toes, let's take our hearts to the floor, and then lift the heart up off the floor, little cobra here. Curl our toes under, lift and press, downward facing dog, breathe. Walk our feet to meet our hands, standing forward, fold. Bring those blocks to where you want them. And inhale, flatten that back, look forward. Exhale, release, inhale, sweep our arms up. Take this around to chair. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, flatten that back, look forward. Exhale, release. Left foot stays forward, right foot goes back into lunge. Right hand on the block or the floor and let's final twist it to the left. Take our left arm, left shoulder to the inside of the left leg. Push that block away and then take our left foot back to meet our right foot to top of plank, shifting the weight front back a little bit. And then shift it front, drop your fronts of the knees, uncurl toes. Take that heart down over the right by that rib cage, lift that heart up, baby cobra. Curl our toes under, lift up, press into a downward facing dog. Breathe.
and walk our feet to meet our hands. We're going to do those spinal twists on each side one more time. So grab those blocks. Good. Inhale, flatten that back, look forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, around in the chair. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Dive this down and over. Inhale, flat back, look forward. And then release. Keep our right foot forward, left foot back. Left hand on block or floor. Spinal twist to the right. Take right arm, right shoulder to the inside of that right foot. Move that block away. And then take our right foot back to meet our left foot to top of plank. Let's go ahead and shift our weight forward. Drop to front of the knees, uncurl toes. Arms are right by our ribcage as we take the heart down to the floor. And lift that heart up off the floor. Throw our toes under, lift and press. Downward facing dog. Breathe. Walk our feet to meet our hands. Standing forward fold. Grab those blocks. Inhale, flatten that back, look forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, around to chair. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, flatten that back, look forward. And then release that right foot goes back. Left foot stays forward. Right hand on block. Let's twist this up. So left side twist. Bring our left arm, left shoulder to the inside of that left foot. Take our left foot back to meet our right foot to top of plank. Shift our weight forward, drop to front of the knees, arms very close to that torso, dropping that heart to the floor, lifting that heart up off. Curl those toes under, lift and press, downward facing dog. Breathe it here. Walk our feet to meet our hands. Stand forward, fold right here. Good. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale around to chair. Inhale, lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, flatten our back, hands to shins. Exhale, release this. Keep our right foot forward, take our left foot back into lunge. Drop our left heel, and let's go ahead and line ourselves up for warrior one. So that front heel is lined up with that back arch. Bring ourselves up strongly into warrior one. Open here into Proud Warrior, Warrior Two. Very strong here. Let's, and centered weight. Remember to center that weight. Same amount of weight in that front leg and back leg. Let's go into Proud Warrior. So drop our back arm. Take our palm up. Reach. Reverse Warrior. Release our front leg. And let's go ahead and windmill the arms down into triangle. And hand can be to that shin. Keeping our both of our legs straight, let's bring our arms up, release our arms down, walk that back foot in, heel toe, heel toe, just a few times to get that closed. Let's take our hands, Prayer to the back, twist that torso. So now we are facing towards that. We've got our hips squared towards our leg. We're gonna bow forward first. So let's go ahead and bow all the way forward. Breathe, keeping both of those feet flat into the floor. You should feel a good stretch in the front leg. And then from this bow, just bring ourselves up just a little bit, a few inches so our back is flat. Then we're going to shift our weight forward and work into a warrior three. So bringing ourselves forward, and you can be up on that toe, or you can begin to go into that balance. Arms can be wherever you want them to be. They can be on your back. They can be up to the side. They can be up to the front.
I'm going to release that leg back down. Take those hands back to that back or back, yeah, back to the back, and then fold it forward once again for that now. Bring ourselves up. Go ahead and take our arms, and you can turn yourself into a shorter warrior two, so you don't have to bend your knee too much here. Be shorter. Windmill our arms down towards the floor. Let's take that right foot back to meet that left foot to the top of plank. Shift that weight forward, drop to front of the knees, uncurl toes. Arms are super close to that torso. Heart goes to the floor. Heart lifts up off of the floor. Curl our toes under, let them press. Downward facing dog, breathe this here. Center our weight, lift our right leg up. So when lift that right leg, bend that right knee, drop right heel over towards left glute, flex through that right foot. Let's bring the knee center and sweep ourselves through into full pigeon. Sticking this down. If you would like to, you can always use support there underneath your glute and hands on the floor or elbows on the floor or all the way folded on the floor and breathe. Pressing ourselves up. We've got that pillow. You can move off to the side. And then we're going to press ourselves all the way up. Downward facing dog. Go ahead and lift that up and breathe. Maybe nod the head or shake the head. Walk our feet to meet our hands. Standing forward fold. Good. We've got that nice forward fold. Let's inhale, sweep our arms up towards the sky. And exhale around the chair. Inhale, lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. This time, let's keep our left foot forward. Take our right foot back. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good. Drop our heel. Left heel in line with that right arch. Bring ourselves up, warrior. One. And up. And three. Open ourselves to proud warrior. Center that weight, same amount of weight in the front leg and back leg. Drop that back arm, take our palm up, peaceful warrior reach. And really to release that front knee, let's go ahead and take this down to triangle. Hand can go right to that shin. Bring ourselves up, release those arms, walk the back foot in a little bit, heel toe, heel toe. And let's take those hands to prayer at the back, turning that torso so that it squares right at the hip and let's go ahead and bow it forward. So taking that down as far as you can, keeping both of those legs straight. Breathe in this bow. And then bring that flat back up just a few inches so that you're at like a table right here. And then begin to shift that weight forward into balance warrior three. So finding whatever level you are at. We're going to bring that falling out of the pose is just as important as staying in. You're strengthening your body no matter what. It's all part of the practice. And not holding the breath. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring that foot back down to the floor. Hold those legs straight and bow it forward once again. Bring ourselves all the way up. Take our arms out. Just a little bit of a warrior two here. A warrior. And then let's windmill our arms down towards the floor. Take that foot back to meet the other foot. Top of the plank. Shift that weight forward. Drop to front of the knees. Uncurl toes. Heart's going to go down. Heart's going to lift up. 
Curl toes under the fan press, downward facing dog, loop and steer. Center our weight, lift our left leg, bend at that knee, drop that heel over towards the glute. Bring that bent knee back to center and let's sweep this through to pigeon on the other side. On the elbows, on the hands, or all the way down on the floor. And breathe once you're there. Good. Let's press ourselves up and press ourselves all the way up into downward facing dog. Lifting this up. Relax that head and neck. Did we nod that head? Yes. Yeah. What do you call you? I didn't talk to her. <laughs> nod your head and shake that head. Okay. Take ourselves back to the top of the plank. Shift our weight forward, drop the fronts of the knees, uncurl toes. Let's take that heart down again to the floor. Lift that heart up off the floor. We're going to do a few more of these just for some arm strengthening. Curl our toes under, lift them, press down, dog. Breathe. Take that back to top of plank. Shift our weight forward, drop the fronts of the knees. Take that chest down, lift that heart up. We've got one more like that. Curl our toes under, lift and press. Downward facing dog. Breathe. Take ourselves back to top of plank. Shift our weight. Drop to front of the knees. Uncurl toes. Heart down. Heart lifts up. Good. Let's hold this up in this little baby cobra. Then we're going to go into sphinx. So let's take ourselves onto our elbows. It's a nice sphinx pose that hips are pressing to the floor on those elbows, either lifted. I'm giving that really, really good low back stretch. And then let's release this down and do some more back strengthening. Let's take our arms out, legs out, arms out, legs out. Let's lift that left arm, lift that right leg. So lengthening through using that back strength. So using the glutes and the low back, and then using the shoulder and the upper back, the traps, the lats. Breathe this here. Release this down. Let's take it other side. So right arm, left leg. Lift this using strength of the glutes, low back, strength, strength of the shoulder, lats, trapezius. Upper body, breathe. And then release this down. Let's take our hands right underneath us and our forehead onto our hands. If that's uncomfortable for you, you can use a pillow here too. But we've got the forehead on the hands. We're going to squeeze with our glutes, press our pelvis into the floor, lift those legs up. We've got low back strengthening here. Not forgetting to breathe. We release those legs down. Take our arms out. Now our pelvis is going to press into the floor, but this time it's upper body. So we'll do a little bit of Superman. So bringing ourselves up here. And then release this down, hands by chest, press back, child's pose, and stretch in here, breathe. Good. In this child's pose, let's bring our arms by our sides, palms facing up into a turtle. Breathe it here.
and by knees, press ourselves up. Let's take ourselves onto our backs. Grab whatever you need for bio relaxation and grab your strap. So once you've got everything, go ahead and take yourself onto your back. Let's take that strap around our left foot. Pull that strap and or pull that leg into the torso using that strap to help you. Give that a nice big hug. And remember, no pressure on the knee here. So grabbing at the shin or underneath that leg, underneath the knee, so pulling the hamstring. Then let's go ahead, flex through our right foot, press it towards the ceiling. So press that up. Let's take the strap into our left hand and let's do that deep spinal twist, laying down, dropping that leg across the body, arms into a T, at least that right arm is out and maybe looking to the right. This feels good, breathe, breathe, breathe. and bring the leg back up, pull that towards you. Let's bend at our other leg, release that strap. Take our right ankle to our left thigh. Let's go ahead and take that right hand, press the inner thigh away, just for a moment. Then let's reach both of our hands behind our right thigh. So let's reach behind, pull that in, and pull that towards you. It's available for you to be, for your upper body to be down on the ground. Feel free to do that. If that's not available to you, then lifting up, relaxing that head, keeping it neutral so that you're not looking way back here, but keeping that neutral. And then go ahead, release that down and release that right leg. Let's take the strap around the left foot. Pull that leg in towards you. That right leg is straight on the floor. Pulling that in, opening that hip a little bit. Now let's go ahead and flex through that left foot and press that heel up towards the ceiling. Pull the leg towards you. Keep that strap in the left, right, right hand. And let's drop our leg across the body. Deep twist here. Arm is out, left arm is out, looking to the left. And then go ahead and gently bring that leg up, pull that left leg towards you, bend at that right leg, release that strap. Let's take our left ankle to our right thigh and then gently press the inner thigh away, that left inner thigh, pressing that away with that left hand. And then let's reach behind that right thigh and pull the leg towards us. And breathe. And then go ahead and release that and move into our final relaxation. So grab what you need. If you need an eye pillow, regular pillow blankets. And once you're there, let's lengthen it through those legs and reach through those arms. So lengthen through the arms, lengthen through the legs, reaching, reaching, reaching. Ooh, 
see the yawn in there. If I pass that yawn to you, <laughs> thanks for that. Rib cage is lifted, lungs are full of air, body is light and floating, lifted. Inhale deep. With an exhale, begin to deflate, sink into the floor. Feet naturally fall open, arms open. Safe in this place, that body is open towards the sky, maybe doing a body scan from your toes to your shins, to your pelvis, to your belly, to the chest, to the arms, out to the fingertips, to the shoulders, to the neck. Relax the jaw. Let that face relax, eyes relax, forehead softened, relax, scalp release. Slowing down that breath. Giving yourself a few moments here. Keeping the body quiet. And to bend those knees. Letting the feet press into the floor. Tucking that tailbone under, low back, maybe press to the floor. Go ahead and begin to drop your knees over to your most comfortable side. And then you can take yourself on your side into a fetal position. A breath or two here. And slowly bring yourself up into a seated or in a seated position. And lengthen up through the torso, crown of the head lifting. Oh, nice and stretched and strengthened, ready for the rest of the day. Let's inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring those palms, exhale, hands down the heart, chin to chest. With that head center, taking fingers to forehead, as we leave today, let us think thoughts of truth. Take our fingers to our lips. As we leave today, let us speak words of love. Taking hands to heart. As we leave today, let our lives be a light of truth and a light of love, having hearts of compassion and mercy, knowing that we have not been given the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, and a sound and peaceful mind. Deeply inhale. Cleansing exhale. One more time. Inhale deep. And let all the air out. And have a blessed